we doing guys it's dime jg here and today i know you guys were wondering where i was at i was at work today was my last day at work it is what it is it was a seasonal job they basically said they had too many people they didn't need me anymore and it is what it is it's just like with man united today <laughs> it's the same stuff so i've had some time to think i was at work i was looking at the result you know i was listening at people you know had my ear you know listening that stuff and it's pretty much the same stuff from man united once again you know it's the same thing with the Jaden Sancho situation. All this stuff is still going on. Jaden Sancho has been frozen out of the team. Look how bad this team is. It is it's horrible at this point. It is, it's just diabolical. And this manager is super stubborn. Like I said, even at the, you know, at the place I work at, maybe they hire a certain type of people. They're going to hire who they want to hire. Because I think only 80 people stay. I think they hired over 100 and something people. Only 70 or 80 stay. So people got to get cut. And that's just how it is. That's life. And it is what it is. And some of these players are going to get cut in January. They're going to end up leaving. And it's going to be the good players, too. It's going to be the people who actually do work hard in training. It's going to be the people who actually do want to stay and play for Man United. It's not going to be the bums who consistently drop, just just do what they do. You know McGuire's going to stay. Zero out of ten performances. Even though he hasn't been playing. See, see, he's not playing right now. They can't blame him. This is smart. He's He's injured this is this is what i'm saying man it's the same stuff over and over again i mean when you look at the formation man united play of course the four two three one four four defenders two three one rashford was playing up top today he got his goal um you got anthony the fidget spinner they, they call him the hundred million pound fidget spinner they call him oj simpson because of him hitting his, that's what rant said that was too funny, man. O.J. Simpson, it's, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> but he said at least he was good at football. Um, he subbed off Kobe Minu. A lot of people were booing that because Kobe Minu has been a very good center defensive midfielder for us. And he subbed on Scott McTominay. Now, Scott McTominay, right, he was bought in by Jose Mourinho to be a CDM. But he is a more of an attacking player. He People say he looks uncomfortable at CDM. Why does this manager keep putting him at CDM then if he's uncomfortable there? Same thing with Christian Eriksen. He is not a CDM. I used to watch Erickson. I have his shirt on the wall. I watched him when he was at Spurs. I loved Erickson. He's not a CDM. Why is this manager putting him at CDM? He's more of a center attacking mid where Bruno plays. Or maybe you play him Lamb or Ram. He's not a CDM. He's too weak. Diogo Dallo playing left back. He's a right back. Yes, he can interchange, but his more comfortable side would be on the on the right. It's the same stuff over and over again from this manager. It's the same things. He's putting people out of position. Kobe Minu should have never come off, but they he subbed him off. And it's the same stuff over and over and over again. I watched their second goal, right? I watched their second goal. The guy basically just ran up the midfield. I mean, he had about three to five business days to pick out a pass. I mean, the guy was wide open in the midfield. Nobody's trying to stop him, track him down, nothing. If Scott McTominay's not a CDM, if he doesn't do well there, if he looks uncomfortable, I'll be thinking in my head as a manager, well, you know what, he's not comfortable there. Let me put him somewhere where he can he can thrive, which will be in probably a, a cam where Bruno's at. Or somewhere like that. Maybe, I would even probably try him up top because he's tall and he scores goals. It makes no sense, man. It makes no sense. This manager's always looking for somebody to bail him out, and there is no one to bail him out right now. These players are fed up, man. They're fed up of this nonsense. You know? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Sitting on the bench, riding on the bench. It's the same stuff over and over again, man. That bench looks dead. Those assistant managers, the main manager, they're talking to each other. What are y'all talking about? The game's going on on the field. What are they talking about? I, I don't understand. I, I genuinely don't understand. Jaden Sancho's been frozen out of the team, Right? Because Sin Hall was probably like, you know what? You know, I'm going to get you in there. I'm going to get you in there, you know, when you get back from uh, whatever. I'm going to get you in there. I'm going to get you in there. And then he came out with that with that interview or whatever after that Arsenal game he played. He didn't have the best game. And so then he came out saying, well, he, oh, well, he didn't play in the Arsenal game. Excuse me. So I'm getting it mixed up. He didn't play. Ten Hall came out. And he said something about Sancho because he wasn't in the team for a period of time. Because he was probably saying, I'm going to get you in, Sancho. I'm going to get you in. You know, just like me. I'm going to get you these hours. I'm going to get you these hours. And then it's like, well, you know, a week later. Oh, it's the same thing on the schedule. A week later, Sancho's still sitting on the bench. Uh, two weeks later, oh, it's the same thing. In my mind, I'm already checked out. 
and I know Jaden Sancho is checked out, he's about to bounce because it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Sancho's going to end up leaving. Martial's going to end up leaving. Um, uh, probably somebody else big is going to end up leaving. The good play, the people are going to leave who we most likely want to stay. And then new, all new people are going to be coming in now. New faces do everything. It's the same stuff, man. Over and over again from this team. And it's going to keep continuing like this for the foreseeable future because they're not going to get rid of him. They're not going to sack him anytime soon. And I'm still 10 hog in, which is insane because I'm probably on a small island because I told you I'm going to go down on this ship. You know? My dad the other day, I was at his house or whatever. I was looking at old clips of Ollie. You know, they were bopping ball. I mean, the, the net kept clanking every time they kept scoring. I mean, they just continuously were scoring. It was like 30, 40 minutes of them scoring. I guarantee if you put a compilation of all of Ten Hag's goals under Ten Hag, I don't even know if that will make 20 minutes. Because we don't score. We're not bopping ball. We're not doing anything. We're trash. We're actually trash. <laughs> it's crazy. Nottingham Forest, bro. Relegate, they're like 19th place. Out of 20 teams, they're in 19th. And we're losing to them. It's clapped, bro. They're most likely going to get relegated. I don't, I don't know how much more this manager can do wrong until he gets potted. If this was Ali, Moyes, Mourinho, if it was anybody else besides Ten Hag, they, it, it would have been gone. Real Madrid, any of these other teams, Liverpool's, Chelsea's, um, Arsenal's, they would have they would have been sacked them by now. There's no way they would put up with this. But I don't know why Man United are the exception. You see? It's like I'm giving everything, I'm putting all my energy into this, and I'm getting nothing in return. That's why I ask myself two questions. That's why I'm not really as mad. At, you know, I'm not really that mad because I ask myself two questions. Can I control it? And is there anything I can do about it? Can I control Man United being trash? No. Can I control losing my losing my seasonal job? No, because it was to be expected with the seasonal thing, because it's a seasonal job. And with Man United, it's the same thing. It's to be expected. They're trash right now. Anything I can do about it? Mm, no. Neither one of them. There's nothing I can do. That's up to the managers. That's not up to me. I'm not a manager. And then Hog's about to go down with the ship, man. He's being stubborn. He will not change that formation. And it is what it is. And, you know, when he, if, if, because it's still an if, if he gets sacked, I'm going to have to come on here and it's just going to be the same thing. I'm just going to say, well, it is what it is, man. I don't know what else to say. So I want you guys to let me know down below what you think. It's pretty much the same, same stuff from Man United once again, man. And we move on to the next team. Who do we play next? Wigan Athletic in the FA Cup. So we're in this cup competition. You know, we're in like round four or something. So that's the cup competition. The last one we're in besides the Premier League. And we're not winning the Premier League. You can you go ahead and cancel that out. So so the FA Cup. And we'll probably get knocked out of that too. And so if we lose to Wigan Athletic, right, who are in the League One or something, I think they're in League One of the championship. I don't know how much more this manager can do. I think that should be curtains. If we go out of the FA Cup, that should be curtains. It's not good enough. Anyway, guys, smash that button, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I'm out, man. This, this is some nonsense, but peace out.